What's going on, guys? Firm 77 here. What's going on? And what we have here, didn't know you got postage on Sundays. That was the shock of the day. Uh, <laughs> I'm still speechless at this point. But um, inside this box, uh, I swear to God, I just opened up my door and it was there and I have not opened it yet. So my reaction to what's inside this box is going to be true for you guys. I wanted to share this moment with you guys. So here's the story behind what's in this box. I am um, sorry if the video is uh, weird. I'm on my iPhone X. I'm still learning everything. Um, but I'm sorry I haven't been around. Uh, work's taking over my life again, but I'm, I'm hopefully going to be back because I have this. And then I also have a new set of pads, a full set that's going to be coming and then probably tomorrow, the expected delivery date is tomorrow. <coughs> Sorry, I can't talk. I'm too excited. Uh, but I'm going to have my pads. I'm going to do an unboxing video for this. But I'm going to do an unboxing video for this as well. So back to the story. The story behind what's in this box is I, ha I got a concussion. And the reason I got a concussion is because I have a Bauer Enemy 3 goalie mask that I use um, to play. And as you guys have known, I have actually switched from playing deck hockey mostly to ice hockey recently and my ice my passion for, for the ice has just grown exponentially if that's even a word <laughs> like I said I can't talk I'm too excited uh but I I have is grown and I love the passion for the ice it really is something you have to be into and it's your life because it is just the feeling you get when you play the people you get to play with the people you meet the friends you make ice hockey is just a completely different breed now I got a concussion because of that Bauer Enemy 3. Now, they're not the best uh, goalie masks from what I hear. Um, they're just like entry level and then like ball hockey they can handle. But I took three straight shots straight to the cage and I just didn't feel good. And I went the next day and I had a concussion. Now, I posted it on GGSU, the Goalie Gear Slush United Facebook page, which is the big main Facebook page for goalies. And everybody was like, oh, you know, that sucks. I hope you get better. But this one guy reached out to me and said, I have a pro level mask if you would like it. And I said, sure, let's get things started. And I had mentioned to him I wanted a custom backplate. And he gladly appreciated it. And he painted me a custom backplate. Now, the custom backplate will be the first part of this I show you after I take the take it out. But my good friend, and I'm sorry if I say your name wrong, brother, but Dave Scotia, uh, I, I greatly appreciate this. Uh, this reaction is going to be full on. I've never opened, I haven't opened this box yet. Like I said, I just opened the door and it was there on a Sunday. So we're going to get it started. I'm going to set you guys up so I can orient this so that you can see everything as it happens. We're upstairs in my uh, dining room right now, but let's see if I can get this set, set up. Oh, perfect. That's absolutely perfect. And I have the box right here. This is where the mask is. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm super excited right now. I have, I've seen snippets of what he's been doing. I have not seen the mask yet. So this is going to be a true first reaction. Let me get something to open the box with so we can keep this rolling. There we go. Just a lucky little knife I have. All right. If you guys are ready, I'm ready. It's a Bauer 9600 with a custom paint job on the whole mask and the back plate. I'm ready if you are. Let's get into this. I, I, I mean, my heart is racing right now, guys. I am, I, one, I can't believe there's postage on Sundays. Uh, it was a two-day priority. It was tracked. This one wasn't tracked as much as my pads are. My pads are still on their way, but they're projected for tomorrow. And if they come today, I guess I'm making two unboxing videos. But here we go. Whew. We can have like a heartbeat monitor on the screen. I wish I could add that. Oh boy, you got packing peanuts. That's always a good sign. Oh wow. You're an asshole, Dave, because I can barely get past these peanuts. I'm not trying to have peanuts all over this floor. I just cleaned this house. All right, let me see if I can get it here. Without making too much of a mess. All right, there's one. <laughs> see, this is taking forever. This is killing me, the suspense. Wow. Okay, yeah, these peanuts are gonna kill me. Um, here, let me put these peanuts into this box. Oh, there's stuff in that box. But we're gonna put them in this box anyway. That's not gonna work. Okay, this is, uh, we need a garbage bag. So, see, we're, we're, get, we're getting somewhere. We're making some progress here. Um, making some progress. 
And like I said, I've seen snippets. I have not seen this mask fully yet. And um, a few things behind to explain this mask so far. I put in ideas of a, uh, a few things for the mask. Of course, because it'd be custom. My, my number 77 is on it. Um, a few of my interests are on it. But he took my interest and he rolled with it extremely. So we're going to see just how extreme he's taken my interest on these. Because I've seen a few pictures of what he did. This is going to take forever. Oh, boy. I see. I see it. I see part of it. Let's see if I can grab it and pull it out. No, those these peanuts are going to go everywhere, man. All right, I got a better idea. Let's, uh, let's do it this way. Let's put the bag pretty much over the box, because I really just don't want to clean these peanuts up. I'm lazy like that. This is an adventure, guys. It's a pure adventure. My first custom, uh, my first custom mask. Now, this has been a process since the end of January. Whenever I did get my concussion. Definitely getting somewhere with these packing peanuts here. All right. I'm ready if you guys are. I don't know if I'm fully ready or not. This is craziness. I'm sorry, I'm right here. Didn't mean to. All right, fuck it. These peanuts are pissing me off. Foaming and some stickers. Appreciate that, Dave. Wow. Wow. God, I, uh... Oh, my goodness. All right, so, um, <laughs> let's sit down here. I'm going to show you guys my new mask. I'm going to put it right there. I'm speechless. For how that turned out, I have, I am, again, I'm speechless right now. Uh, I know this video is long, and I do apologize. I had to get these packing peanuts out of the way. So I can explain that's on the mask to you guys. I'm, I can't talk. I'm, I, I'm looking deeper into the mask to see, uh, understand everything that he put onto it. All right, let's do this. First of all. Um, the mask looks amazing, Dave. Uh, definitely one of the best masks I've ever seen. Uh, paint wise, you took everything that I, I, I said and you put it into perspective and you put it into reality. And, uh, I am just speechless and it's a cat eye cage. I'm, I, I'm just speechless. So what are these? These are, uh, some more star Wars stickers, another Omega sticker for, um, I'll explain that in a second. It's, uh, Another uh, strap if I wanted to do it this way for the back plate. And some more Maltese. So that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to do one thing real quick. I'm going to try it on. Make sure it fits. And it fits perfectly. I can, I can, uh, uh, I can adjust that. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting my hat back on. But uh, here we go. So here it is, guys. Are you ready? Big drum roll. And here it is. My custom Bauer 9600 helmet with um, my custom decals. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm like barely holding on right now. There's so much detail into this mask, it's crazy. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. That's unbelievable. Uh, where I saw something else. I thought I saw. Um, wow, yeah, there it is. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we'll start with the back plate here. The back plate was the first initial thing that he did for me, and it was the original uh, concept that started everything of the customization. Now, what we have is my number, 77, my goalie number. Um, he threw on the Vegas Golden Knights logo there for me. The skyline of Pittsburgh, which is uh, something really cool I like. And then he also put the old robotic penguin design as a white moon over the city. That is unbelievable. I love that. Okay, and then we stuck with gold because I love my penguin colors. It's a main gold base. On this side, we have Breaking Benjamin's uh, main logo because I'm a huge Breaking Benjamin fan. I love that. And then you can't really see it. I, hopefully I can get it so you can see it. But what he did is he etched in two of my favorite songs by Breaking Benjamin into a, kind of a phrase to make it sound cool. But Breath is right there. Breath is one of my favorite songs by Breaking Benjamin. And then down here, it says Until the End, which is another one of their greatest songs, both off the same album, I do believe. But nonetheless, still outstanding work. They're faded into the paint. You can just barely see them. You have to really look for them, but I love it. Um, going right here, there's an, an Omega symbol because God of War is, was a life-changing game for me. I know it's a video game, but still, um, I love God of War, so he's able to integrate that into there for me. My number, again, 77 on the chin right there. And then um, right here on this side is the First Order symbol from Star Wars. I love the First Order. And then these things he did unbeknownst to me. The Death Star, I don't know if you can see that, there it is. He hid that up there in the corner. That looks outstanding up there. The stripe is amazing. I love the way he did the stripe. What's that? Oh, that's the Maltese, okay. And then, um, my goodness, what am I? Oh, Starfighters, the X-Wing Starfighters down here. That's amazing too. And then the one final thing he did is across the top, he put SDMF, and that stands for Strength, Determination, Merciless, Forever. It comes from Black Label Society and Zach Wild, and it's a motto I've lived my life off of for the longest since I discovered them. Dave, I don't know what to say, brother. I am more than thankful for this amazing mask, and I cannot wait to use it. <laughs> I, I'm not, not going to want to use it. I want to keep it in pristine condition. But... I highly appreciate it. Definitely one of the greatest masks I think I've seen you do out of all the masks you've, you've shown me. You, you deserve an amazing amount of credit for this. I couldn't be more thankful. And I can't wait to start wearing it and using it. Um, I'm gonna be posting this everywhere now. But uh, like I said, it was a Sunday and I didn't expect the posters to come. But I do love this. Here, I'll try it on for you guys. Maltese foam inside. Yep, I absolutely love it. The Maltese foam feels good. It's a Bauer 9600, like I said. So the protection is there. I just have to mess with the, the adjustments and the straps. But here she is. Uh, I think that's it, guys. I am still in shock looking at this myself. So I'm going to go take my own time and check this out. I will uh, definitely be posting some videos of me on the ice soon. We'll be with this mask and my new gear. I appreciate you guys checking this video out and seeing this with me. We'll be doing the same thing with my pads tomorrow. Hopefully my buddy will be here with us. I'll check you then. See ya.